Check this out, a school zone intersection with a speed limit of 55 miles per hour. You can see those cars just flying by. Now hundreds of Metro Atlanta parents are raising the alarm about the dangerous intersection right outside their kids' school. And they told our very own Caitlin Ross that they just can't make sense of a 55 mile per hour speed limit at a critical intersection for young drivers. She's getting to the bottom of it and a story you'll only see on 11 Alive. This speed limit changes as you drive over the county line. In Fayette County, it's 45 miles an hour, but just in front of the school in Coweta, it ticks up to 55. I'm just waiting for the accident. I'm waiting for the sound. You know, the cars traveling at 55 miles an hour through a school zone with this much traffic is just not a safe environment for anybody. Steve Smeal's son attends Trinity Christian School in Sharpsburg, and every day to get to class, he has to make this turn across two lanes of oncoming traffic off SR 50. I've got a new driver um, that I that has got a permit. I ride with him. He makes this left hand turn. This is one of our critical left hand turns that we work on, uh, but it is extremely dangerous every morning. He says just last week a teacher was hit on her way into school. Both cars in the wreck were totaled. Most of the parents I've talked to will not even allow their their kids if they're driving to make a left here. They are going they have to go up to this light. Smeal says the school has tried twice to get a traffic light or lower the speed limit on the road, but has been denied by the county. The school building is about a quarter mile from the road, and when Smeal tried to figure out why the speed limit is so high right there, he says he couldn't get an answer. The traditional red tape. It's a traditional hide behind a phone number. It's a traditional we're working on it. A spokesperson for GDOT told me they are working on it. The department is conducting a speed study on that stretch of road right now and evaluating how to increase school signage in the area. Smeal doesn't care how they do it. He just wants it done. That's not my job. My job is it's 55 miles an hour in the school zone and common sense tells us that it shouldn't be. Smeal actually started a petition to try and get this speed limit down. He says so far it has more than 500 signatures. Reporting in Coweta County, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News.